sharing of ideas, the exchange of words, uh, conversation and music and life. Life is wonderful. Now get out, Warren. <laughs> Ernie, this can't wait. This is big. Honey. <laughs> I, I fixed the drip. You should be able to sleep now. Are you ready? Yes, Warren. Mayor Blackwell is dead. You mean he died? <laughs> well, he's dead. You figure it out. We were like this. He hated you. I didn't say it was pleasant. Guess who got the account? Sleaze, all right. Figures. It's always that damn sleaze, Ernie. The biggest funeral since Merle Oberon's aunt. And you let it slip through your fingers. We're finished, Warren. We got the account. You know, the trouble with you is, is you're a joiner. You, you flip from this organization to that organization, the city council, the League of Women Voters. Does it do our business any good? You want to join an organization? Join a, a skydiving club. Join the uh, uh, weekend bullfighters, those guys who handle snakes. What did you say? <laughs> the account is ours. We got the account. Mayor Blackwell. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> our leader has fallen. <laughs> Okay, okay. Here's what I'm thinking, Warren. A luau. <laughs> Ernie, this one is mine. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you are out. It means I handle this funeral alone. Alone? You can't handle this alone, Warren. This is not a dentist, Warren. This is the mayor of the 63rd largest city in Ohio. <laughs> I most certainly can handle this alone. Before you came with your unique blend of charm and taste, Father and I ran this business like a well-oiled machine. This is not a machine, Warren. Sometimes you have to learn how to fly, how to soar and, and dive and make beautiful pictures in the sky. Sorry, Ernie. I'm going solo on this one. <gasps> Warren, Roger I... and out. I fixed the leak, but the toilet's on fire. <laughs> What did Warren want? Your brother wants to bury the mayor alone. Well, who should he bury him with? <laughs> He's in over his head, Debbie. He can't do this on his own. Honey, Warren used to be a great mortician before the accident. Since then, he has no confidence, and he's never going to grow unless somebody believes in him. What accident? Oh, three years ago, he was taking a tour of a dairy got his head stuck in a milking machine. Oh, I understand. Okay, I'll give him a pep talk. In the morning. Raul! <laughs> Let me know when it's morning, and don't flush. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, come in. Hi, Warren. Hello. What you doing? Um, nothing. A nice room. Thank you. But it looks, uh, familiar somehow. <laughs> Have I been here before? I don't think so. Why are you here now? I don't know. Had a little time. Felt like bonding. <laughs> Look, uh, Ernie... If you're here to persuade me or 
con me into giving you the mayor's account, you can forget about it. I can handle that myself. I can, and I'm going to, and that is that. Oh, I know that. You do? Yeah, sure. Smart guy like you. Piece of cake. You think I'm smart? <laughs> really? <laughs> I never knew that. Warren, you're smart. And, 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 and fun. And, and charming. I'm fun. <laughs> and talented. You know, I think you're very talented. So, what side do you wear your shorts on? Ernie, I'm, uh, I'm bonding. <laughs> Ernie, uh, what's this? Looks like, uh, what? It's, uh, noodles? <laughs> you glued noodles and then, and then painted them over? Are you crazy, Warren? <laughs> it's my hobby. It relaxes me. But it, it's noodles. <laughs> it's macaroni art. <laughs> macaroni art? <laughs> yeah, I learned it in <laughs> camp. Mrs. Dorfner said I was the best in the whole camp. <laughs> you mean other people did this? <laughs> I thought that in the privacy of my own room, I could express myself and be a whole person. Well, you can, Warren. But noodles? <laughs> Taking even that away from me. Please leave. Oh, oh I see. It's a, it's Roseanne Barr, right? <laughs> Goodbye, Ernie. I can't believe it. You go to his room to give him confidence and you wind up laughing at him. That's like going to a guy's apartment to give him confidence and you wind up laughing at him. Well, that's a different way of looking at it. But honey, it, it, was, it was noodles on, on, on paper with glue and glitter and sparkle and, and paint. I was afraid of this. You were afraid of noodles? We should never be afraid of noodles. We live in the greatest country in the world. Exactly. And I will not contribute to the repressive artistic climate of this country. Maplethorpe, Debbie. Maplethorpe. <laughs> Whatever happened to please? Warren can't get his confidence unless he's free to expose his work. I insist he expose himself. <laughs> Raul! <laughs> Raul, go to Warren's room, steal anything that looks like macaroni glued on cardboard, and keep it in strict order starting with pre-impressionistic through post-impressionistic and his early pasta period. Bring them along with a list of rich people and stop off at Mr. Crux and get me a special basket lunch with coleslaw instead of potato salad. Now go! Go! <laughs> My husband's got to look good. Emmy? Good. Like when he was young and vibrant and full of vinegar. The mayor was a wonderful man. Mrs. Blackwell will certainly do our best. No, you'll do it right, Emmy. I love to bake. <laughs> really? I came here because your father buried my father. I respected your father. I loved your father. And your father loved my father. My mother even loved your father. God, I hate small towns. So, talk to me. What have you got planned? Plan? You do have a plan, don't you? Sure. Oh, a plan, of course. I've got a plan. Well, what do you mean exactly? I mean, that man took a hit town and turned it into the 63rd largest city in Ohio. Now, what are you going to do? Well, see, um, there's this service where they, uh, you know, they come in and say, ooh, and then they sit. That's it? No, no, not by a long shot, not by a long shot. There's a minister with 
uh, lovely and, and soaring and flying, and then we, you know, uh, bury him. <laughs> Look, Tweedlehead, this is my favorite picture of my late husband. Hmm. Johnson Beach, 1970. You see how young, robust, make him look just like that, just like I remembered him. Or else I'd take the rest of my family business to Slazar. And we got a big family. Emmy? Cousin Edgar married a Jew. <laughs> oh, God. What am I going to do? <laughs> Mrs. Blackwell? Worry, Warren, old boy. Everything's under control. <laughs> what are all these people doing here? The mayor's service is in until three o'clock. Uh oh. Ernie! So you noticed it, huh? <laughs> Hi, Warren. Well. What do you think? How could you do this to me? I'm not doing anything to you, Warren. I'm doing it for you. Ringo. Oh, I see. So this, this heart attack that I might be having, that's for me. This cardiac arrest, <laughs> that's for me. <laughs> it's for me and me alone. And no one can ever take that away from me. <laughs> oh, what a lucky boy. <laughs> what a lucky boy. <laughs> you got it straight? I think so. Good. Ladies and gentlemen of the art world, Sure? I got it. I got it. I know what you're thinking. Is this art? I say yes. Because if it isn't, it's just gluing noodles on paper. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's art. May I have a bid, please? Lingo? What? May, may I have a bid, please? I don't like that one. <laughs> Well, let's start the bidding at $500. Do I hear $550? Do I hear $550? A dime. $10. Fine, $10 going once. $550. You said to say $550. Okay, uh, do I hear $551? People, please. This is not a replica. This is a genuine worn pepper. <laughs> look at look at how it how it uh, soars and, and and dives and makes beautiful images in the sky. I can't let this go for a mere five hundred and fifty dollars. It would break my heart. And if it breaks my heart, it would break your heart. Because I am you. I am just like you. I eat and sleep and breathe just so I can remain who I am. You! Now, what am I bid? 551. 551 going once. 2,000. <laughs> you, you don't understand the concept. 2,005. Ringo, you can't outbid your bid. Uh, 3,000. 3,000? 3, 3,000 going once. 3,005. Shut up! Four, four, five, no, four, six, twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> Ernie didn't intend to humiliate you. He was just trying to get you to take some chances. And who is he to tell me I don't take chances? Did he ever stick his head in a milking machine? <laughs> he walks on wet paint. Oh, and I don't. <laughs> what do you mean by that exactly? I mean that when he paints himself in a corner, he just walks out. He leaves tracks. You, on the other hand, stand in that same corner until the whole world is dry. You're right, Deb. I don't have it. I can't fly. Just give him a chance. He adores you. He adores me? Yes, he told me so. He said, 
I need Warren like I need another orifice. <laughs> Come on, Warren. We have a funeral to do. You can't just run out. You have to walk on wet paint sometimes. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Why did you make him look like this? I love it. Everybody I love is here. <laughs> Something is bothering you. The widow said to make him look young, not like Jacques Cousteau's idiot brother. Sorry, you can't make him look young. You're, you're a mortician, not a magician. Raul, these are the widow's instructions. I want you to follow them to a T. <laughs> Ernie, um, why, why are all these people in here? Why aren't they in the chapel? Uh, it wasn't a good time to tell you. I'm, uh, I'm having my boat scraped. Excuse me. In, in the chapel? Ringo, uh, do me a favor. Sure. Okay, uh, stick in a few words about macaroni art. Macaroni art? No problem. <laughs> What's going on? How come we're not in the chapel? Uh, we're having the service here. There's a cabin cruiser in the chapel. Unbelievable. Hit it, Ringo. Yeah, and hit it like we said, not like he said. We are here today to honor a man who has served this community for over 20 years. He was not only a great man, he was also our friend. I am speaking, of course, of Mayor Blackwell, known affectionately to many of you as Macaroni Art. No, it, no, no, it's, uh, it's, it's uh... Oh, 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 I see, yes. What is that, tortellini or something? <laughs> Anyhow, Ringo, the mayor... thank you very much. Where, where is he, anyway? Uh-oh. A uh, what? What? A uh, what? Uh, play something up. <laughs> what is going on? Where is the mayor? Before I tell you, Warren, I'd like to say, I think you're being a hell of a sport. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The mayor's in this little cup here. I gave you strict orders. It was on the order form, on the invoice. I printed it myself. Raul? Yes, see? It's right here, in black and white. Mayor may not be cremated. May or may not. <laughs> How did you make this executive decision? <laughs> oh my God. What am I going to do? Fly, Warren. Warren. You're forgetting the mayor. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for coming. You all look very nice. Warren, don't play with the mayor. Friends, help. Hi there. Ernie Lapidus here. Beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you from, sir? Ohio. Ohio. Boss State. <laughs> Anybody else here from Ohio? Oh. That's fine. Ohio, I am told, is the Buckeye State. I guess that's because one of the little rascals was born here. <laughs> All right, Ernie, I'll take over now. 
Knock them dead, war baby. Friends, where's my husband? Ernie? <laughs> right, uh, Mrs. Blackwell wants to know where her husband is. Well, you can see him right now, Mrs. B. I mean, we can all see him. And if you want to see him as he is, then please, come up here and do so. But, if you want to see him as he was, tanned and young and healthy looking, just like all of you, then close your eyes. You cremated my husband, didn't you? Yes. But I wanted to see him. Then close your eyes. What do you see? Johnson Beach, 1970. Let us all remember him the same way. Young and handsome. And as his lovely widow once quipped, full of vinegar. <laughs> I owe you an apology. I know you do, Warren. <laughs> I just don't understand you. This I also know. You take the worst scenario and you twist it and you turn it and everyone comes out happy. How does that happen? How could two people look at the same thing and see it so differently? Well, Warren, all I can say is... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.